good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time you guys are watching this, man. It's Marquis, aka Severe from Boston. How y'all doing, man? Hip hop world, thanks for supporting the channel and myself. I am Marquis, aka Severe. And uh, we're going to Brooklyn, man. I've been stuck in a rabbit hole ever since this artist, MC, and freedom fighter. Ka has passed away again R.I.P. to Ka and condolences to his family and friends uh yeah I've just been you know listening to Ka albums ever since he passed you know of course the new one I just recently uh reviewed but I went back in the crates man and um I dug it up man grief pedigree now grief pedigree a lot of people say this is one of his classic albums. What you guys think, let us know in the comments. But this is his sophomore solo album. Of course, he had groups prior. and But this is his sophomore solo joint. Self-produced. And he did a video. Go check out his channel. Get those numbers up. He did a video to, for each record on here. And directed them and edited them. Like this dude did it all. Like he just did it all. But let's go, let's talk about the album. Let's talk about the good times, man. Uh this came out February 11, 2012. About 36 minutes of pure heat. And uh again, do you guys think this is a classic? This is an incredible, an incredible album. It's funny because when I first started listening to the car. He was doing a lot of drumless beats. Like, it was like a lot of drumless. You could just hear his voice. It was just like, you know, that's what the prominent um, sector was for that record or for the albums. It was his voice. It was his lyrics. It was his pen game. And he had a lot of drumless beats. And a lot of people wasn't rocking with him because he had the drumless beats. People wanted to hear that boom, bap, original rap. Shout out to KRS One. But. It was stuck in people a lot of people were stuck in that mind frame that they have to hear the boom bap. The the good news on this album, he the boom bap's here. You know, you get the boom bap, you get the bass, there's every everything's here. So he did produce some type of boom bap soul music, you know, you know, all the you know genres of hip hop people love, right? So this is the album. So if y'all look looking for any boom bap, you know, no drumless beats. Listen to to Greek pedigree. Uh this this album's fire. But that's only if you know if you listen to that. I listen to all car. I listen to if it's boom bap, if it's drumless, I'm here for the lyrics. I'm here for the bars. I'm here for the the, the preaching. I'm here for the lessons. Uh so let's talk about another one is chamber. Uh with one in the chamber, car lets you know he's a planner. He's ready. He's ready. When you got one in the chamber, you, you stay ready. You gotta stay ready out here. Now, Carl, writer, producer, director, editor of the album, and of course the videos, like I said earlier. Talent at its finest. Carl's use of drums and bass is heavy on this album, but not heavier than his lyrics. Again, his lyrics still outshine the background music, you know, and that's why I believe. Car fans are car fans. They here for the lyrical warfare. They here for the pain game. Number two, cold facts. I heat it up with cold facts, he says. I heat it up with cold facts. Factuality, like he's speaking the truth. He's heating up the game by telling the truth. <coughs> There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Cold facts, man. <clears throat> Excuse me. Track showcases Ka's lyrical ability filled with intricate wordplay and wisdom. Sharp lines about survival and harsh realities. Number three, no downtime. Soulful track amplifying the rawness of his wordplay. Windable and quotable artist. Stay vigilant in this hostile world. And that's what he's doing. He's staying, he's staying vigilant, man. He's staying active. He 
he spoke on what he seen, what he went through, you know, like, I think I read a story, I think at 13, he had guns to his face, like, this is Brooklyn. Brooklyn? Like, he grew up rough, poor, you know, I believe he did have to go to the streets and, you know, do those street things that, you know, people do that are illegal, right, uh, to get by him and his family, so, number four, summer. Mentioning the summer to black people usually wasn't fun. It was survival of the fittest. Now, when I say that, because you can say, oh, what you do this summer? Like, I remember going to school and people go, what you do this summer? That's the teachers, what you do this summer? You know, like, what I do this summer? You know, the white Asian kids or others that, you know, had a little bit of money or whatever that, you know, maybe they had their family more put together in a sense, right? They always went on family trips. So they, you know, Florida, I went to... The beach, I did this. And I'm like, what? <clears throat> we supposed to do stuff in the summer? Like, I was just in the hood. I was just in, you know, on my street. I mean, we had a lot. We, we probably have more fun as kids than any other race. I'm going to tell you that. Like, I know I grew up. I had fun. No matter if the streets were tough and rough, I still had a lot of fun playing crate ball, all types. And we made up so many games. We were so inventive uh, and creative, you know. Um by being poor, you know. But the summers wasn't usually a highlight. It was like survival of the fittest, really. The album is uh, deeply introspective with poetic lyricism. Number five, decisions. A simple right or left can mean life or death. That's what Carl says. A simple left or right, it's just the decisions in your life. You gotta take that left, take that right. You gotta make those decisions. Uh, Carl speaks on moral choices. One must make in a difficult uh, environment. Video was, uh, this video was actually shot in color because I'm watching all the videos. I'm listening to um, the music, of course. And I'm, you know, trying to break down the lyrics and, you know, just the bars and stuff. Uh, this video was shot in color and um, shot at a school. So shot at like a high school, middle school message. Y'all remember like, his messages in this man, so he's he's not just shooting the video in the school to shoot the video in the school. He's out to to keep teach the kids, man. He's out to teach the youth and stuff like that. So I like this man. Uh, number six is collage. This track is pure gata. Uh, I'm preparing my mind and my body. Job interviews in the street. I apply with a shoddy. I'm like what? Yo, this, I'm telling you, his wordplay is just bananas, man. I'm telling you. Track is raw, evoking the bleakness of the environment Carr is narrating. Let's get it in, man. There's a cinematic quality to the albums. Not just this album. Sound. Each track feels like a part of a larger narrative. And I believe that was the case with Carr. Like, he saw things. He taught things. He went through things. He shared things. Let's talk about number seven. Every dot, dot, dot. As a fan, I appreciate Carr's craftsmanship and his vulnerability. Track has a soulful and jazzy feel. As Carr devotes his speech to teach. That's what he devotes his time to. You know, he's teaching the youth. He's teaching whoever listens, really. You know, adult men, women. Um, you know, he's here to... Uh, he's on that pedestal. And um, he, did a, he did a damn good job, man, with these albums. I'm telling you, go back in the crates. Listen to these solid, solid, incredible albums by Carr. You won't be disappointed. Especially if you you love poetry and you love lyricism and you love wordplay. You gotta you gotta love that stuff first. Don't if you like trap music, Carr's not for you. He just not. Alright. Number eight, Iron Age featuring Rock Marcy. Now it's funny because just the you know it's one feature, and sometimes he has no features. And if he does have a feature, it's usually Rock Marcy or you know, uh, I think he had 
I gotta go back in the crates, but he's had other features, but Rock Mars is usually the, the number one done data, right? On the features. Um High Age featuring featuring uh Rock Marcy Marciano. He said, stayed in hell all my life. I need heaven's visa. Yo, he said he's like he's on earth, earth is hell. He needs heaven's visa. He need, he just wants to take a trip. He want he wanna move. He wanna move from, from America or Earth. You know, he's just trying to get heaven's visa. Like, and I'm pretty sure if that's what he believed in, that's where he's at currently. You know, uh he got that he finally got that heaven's visa. Uh had high hopes for folks that got high on Coke. Rock Marcy. Now Rock Marcy, you know he can't come through without blazing the track and being quotable as well. He said, had high hopes for folks that got high on Coke. Now this resonates with me because that you know, parents aunts, uncles, was on coke, crack, and I, and, you know, I had high hopes for them, you know, these are the people I admire, my aunts, uncles, my moms, my father, these are people I love, these are people I, I look up to as a kid, and uh, they did a lot of chemistry in that kitchen, let's put it that way, uh, back to Iron Age and Rock Marcy, the chemistry between these two uh, scholars hit different. They just hit different. Uh, people wish they tr created an entire album together, but just go back and listen to every song they did together. That'd probably be a good EP album in itself. I'm pretty sure they did about six, seven tracks together. They did tracks with on Cars albums, and they tra did tracks on Rock Monsters album. So that might be a good five, six tracks. I don't even know how many, but but back away from the sweet trash that's out there y'all put the bubble gum rap down just put it down and come listen to some car man the car will heal your soul this dude will heal your soul man i'm telling y'all what's wrong with y'all man i'm telling you number nine up against goliath Whew, man come on man beat is smooth like butter and has like a pimpish feel car is a narrator and a philosopher that mastered his own crap. The crap of lyricism. Like this dude is a what? I'm telling you, listen. David overcame Goliath. This Y'all know the story. If y'all don't, go look it up. But war can be won with intelligence. And that's basically what cause, one of cause messages are. Like you got to be intelligent. Go read some books. Go research uh, things that you see on, on social media. Don't just see something on social media and just start sharing it. Like, I remember recently, I think somebody passed the what somebody they thought somebody thought some this is what I hate too. People think somebody passed away because somebody might tell a story, and then people are rushing the post to say somebody passed away, and then they ain't even passed away. Even if they in route to, to go to the other side, let let them let them let, let, let it happen. You know what I'm saying? Don't just rush to post something. Research, do your research. You know, when 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 car when people were saying car passed, I was like, yeah, right. I went straight to social media on his page and I saw the actual uh quote and letter that his family wrote. And I'm like, wow, this this is real. This is real. That was the research. Then I went online and double checked. Then I'm going on you know, people's page that really knew him as a friend or you know, a rap associate. That's talking about them like, oh, this is real. So that's the research. That's the due diligence you have to do. And uh, that's what Carr did. Do what Carr did. Do your research, man. And get intelligent. Read. What's the, la what's the last book you read? Let me know in the comments. I'm serious. What's the last book you read? Hopefully it was one of mine. You know, either Severe's Chronicles, Severe's Classic Volume 2, which is on audio, or Severe's Classics Volume 1. Uh, both books... You can get from True Vine Publishing. And uh you can get the you know the audio for the second book on Amazon, wherever you got your books at. And then I got the ebooks. Check out the ebooks. I write. I'm a writer. I'm a writer like car. I mean, I don't write this intricate and this 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 fancy. This dude is incredible. This is an incredible MC. Uh let's go to number 10, Vessel. Uh challenging. It's a challenging beat with the international passport stamp. No matter the background sound, 
cause lyrics outshine and take uh, precedence. You know, like I said earlier, his rhymes, his bars. Wait, I'm here for the bars. I'm here for the bar. I'm here for the bar. The lyric. I'm here for that. I'm. I'm like listening to it. What he say? I'm. Like, oh, 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 oh. I'm doing. Oh, oh. I'm doing the old face. I'm doing everything. I'm like, oh, snap. Oh, but why not? Oh, I'm. This is what I'm doing when I'm listening to Cars albums. Plain and simple. I do enjoy them when I'm. When I already do the review, I can go back to that album and just listen to it. But like when I didn't review that album yet, I'm like, oh. Oh, I'm going crazy, man. So shout out to Cobb, man. You know, it's legacy, man. Legacy, legacy. Um, last track is 11. Born King NY. Uh, it's Cobb's version of, Brook, of a Brooklyn anthem. This is a Brooklyn anthem for Cobb. Like, Cobb got usually a lot of slower tracks. He speaks, like, in whisper form. You know, this album is the closest to, like, a boom bap, faster paced album. And then this is like a, a Brooklyn anthem, you know, for his space, right? Uh, the beat is raw and gritty, like the nostalgic neighborhood. Like the, the nostalgic neighborhood of Brooklyn, this is how the track is. I mean, Brooklyn has been diversified <laughs> currently, so, you know, it's not the same. But the neighborhood he grew up in, you know, it, it was, you know, had that nostalgic feeling. If, you can't, if you're from Brooklyn, you know, saying, let us know. If you're from Brooklyn, let us know how it was back in the day. Uh, Born King, uh, New York. Uh, Car is a one on one and it shows through his music. Uh, 2012 Ironworks records, man. Like this, listen, man. I gotta, this is, I right, listen. It's a classic for me. This is a, this is another classic album from Car. I'm telling you, he got classic albums. Descendant of Cain, Descendant of Cain is a classic. Grief Pedigree is a classic. Y'all let me know other albums that y'all believe are classic from Carl. Put it down in the comments below. And if anybody knows about the black and white factor, he always, you know, the albums are, you know, covers in black and white. Most, most of his videos in black and white. And then let me know the number 11. I looked it up. He always got like 11 tracks. On his albums, if you look at his solo albums, usually it's a lot. I think it's all of my eleven tracks, and I remember looking it up, and it has some um, spiritual meaning behind it. You know, uh, so I think he was doing things for a reason. Like he, he, he I'm telling you, man, Kaz not just. He was probably like one of the rap Jesuses. You know what I'm saying? In our 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 um, our time, you know. Um, like go back and listen to these out. Go back and listen to the the last album that he uh, came out with, and I told you it's like really haunting and eerie because he passed, and then he's talking about suicide and all types of stuff. I'm not saying that happened, but I'm just saying he's talking about all types of death and weird. You know, like it's kind of like when Biggie passed and Tupac passed. It's kind of like they knew or something. Like they kind of had a feeling, and then you listen to their last, you know, their last last album that they was alive with it's usually feels eerie you know the, the biggie album feels eerie the tupac album feels eerie like yo man we coming back from brooklyn new york city you know um car grief pedigree yeah i don't care what y'all say we can argue in the comments man classic album man shout out to car you know what i'm saying uh rest in peace again brother um you know I'm going to continue listening to these albums, promoting these albums, because you can learn. We can learn. We can all learn from these albums. We're going to break down these albums. We're going to learn from these albums. I'm gonna, And I know I'm missing out on so much stuff. You know, you got to listen to these albums over and over. Car is not, you can't just listen to the record and go, ah, oh, that's it. Nah, you got to listen to this album. You got to listen to these songs over and over again because you're going to miss something. You'll be barring out. And let me know who else is barring out like like car. Let me know. Let me know. Ah, right, y'all, I'm getting out of here. Happy Sunday, man. Um, yeah. If you pray, pray away, man. All right, man. One love, love over hate. Peace out, y'all. Two thousand twenty-four. Get your shit together.